Alright, so between videos, I uh, actually loaded back to the last save. I, uh, I went through the dialogue again. I argued in favor of Magnus, the fact that these were all dwarves, you know, quality ancestors or what have you. And Winston did a pretty good job of saying, no, that's fucking stupid. There's uh, all manner of shoddy construction around here. No dwarf would call this an ancestor. Pretty awful. And, uh, you know, I fought in Magnus's favor, gained no extra reaction with him at all. So, I forfeit the ability of enjoying Magnus' companionship and his dialogue and his mule powers. Uh, I forfeit the amulet and the dagger, I think, that was in that locked chest. Um, that, uh, if I try to loot, I'm pretty sure they would attack me. I haven't tried, but, nah, I'm not gonna go backtracking and all, whatever you know how it is. Uh, I don't care about it enough. They could be really awesome items, and, eh, I mean, I could fight them, too. <laughs> I am the, there can be only one necromancer, but no. I needed some time, and really, the benefits from this are just, uh, having a team of necromancers, at least on favorable business terms with you, that sounds cooler than Magnus. Even though the necromancers don't have uh, voice files. Let, 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 let's see, I'm sure it'll be like, I heard about you from Magnus Shellfist. He sent me after you. How? I killed him the day I met him. <laughs> or I might have met him in the evening, in which case I didn't exactly do that. At any rate, he's fucking dead, and I need to find a vendor. Because I am so loaded. So loaded. All those quality armor. I also need to find someone who can train me uh, in haggling. You see what it is? It is the magnificent house at the tail end of Kensington Broadway to the east end. I knew this address. Can't miss on anything else. And you can train me an apprentice in that stuff. I must go. Good day to you. Uh, let's go ahead and wait until morning. It's pretty late in the evening here. See if I can, uh... Maybe not the gun shop so much. This quality armor place. Hello. Let's barter. I need apprentice training. Alright, you can't do that for me. Can you fix something for me? No, I'm not interested in that. Uh, what sort of wares do you carry here? Uh, interested in trading. You do have a lot of variety of different goods. A lot of variety. Oil chain mail. Ooh. I'm not going to spend too much time looking at them in large part because, well, I already have a lot of stuff I'm carrying, and I would like to get that basic, uh, basic haggling. I think you can get it with one skill point, apprentice. So, who's Gilbert Bates? Thank you. And just firearms, it makes sense. We're looking to trade goods. Auto-loading chamber, all manners of guns. Totally makes sense. That's cool, man. That's the Bridesdale Inn. Uh, paper Boy. Nah, I'm not interested in any more newspapers. Vermilion Station. This is one of the many stations. Oh my god, it's gonna be so difficult for me to find a proper fucking vendor around here. Who might be able to train me and haggle. Apprentice haggle at that. Alright, don't despair, Grimoth. It'll be fine. Even though you're slower, it'll be fine. You can always sell those items. The money doesn't have to matter. It doesn't have to. We're gonna backtrack over here a bit. Because I never checked out this. Gears and gadgetry. Okay. Mark that on the map, I hope. Herbalist, inventor. What sort of wares do you carry here? Stock only the finest of herbs and infused concoctions. I harvest each plant to peak of the season to ensure unrivaled potency. Shaded to, uh, is any particular I can assist you with? Looking for training as an assistant? Sure. Let us barter. You have a lot of those things. Yeah, makes sense. Inventor. Uh, I'm looking for training as an apprentice. Damn. Let's barter. 
I'd expect a merchant type to be able to teach me. I don't even know whether to be a teacher. There has to be a teacher for that in this fucking city. The largest city in all of Arcana, man. Telegraph operator? Hmm. Hello. How do you? Do you have a telegram for Virgil? Yes, right, that. Just some papers around. Yes, we do. As a matter of fact, there'll be two coins. There you go. I have discovered something interesting concerning our friends with the strange amulets. I am off to investigate my theories regarding them. Please accept my humblest apologies on my inability. The telegram sent by Elder Joaquim. I don't know what to make of it. It seems that he thinks it's very important to find out why these men are trying to kill you. Much more important than being here to protect you. I am. It's okay. Forgive Virgil his flaws. It's okay. It's okay. Calm down, Grimoth. Forgive Virgil. It's alright. He helps you. He has white necromantic magic. That's incredibly useful. Magnus? He could have been useful. But he wasn't in that situation. Because he was stupid. Right. Calm down. Okay. I don't know whether I give it seems that he thinks it's very important to find much more important than being here to protect you. I don't need protection. Oh, that's just bloody wonderful. Then maybe I'll just go home and leave you to get your skull smashed by... <sighs> Listen. I don't understand this any more than you do. Not long ago, I'd have had a good belly laugh over this whole thing. What do you think? I don't want to deflate your dreams. Let's just stick to the things we know and find out what's really going on. All right. Listen, Tarant is a big city, and a man needs to watch what he does and who he talks to. Believe me, I know a lot about surviving in places like this. This and worse. Just keep one eye always open, and one hand always on your weapon. You can't trust strangers, and sometimes not even your friends. I used to... Sounds like you know a lot about surviving in the streets. I used to... Well, that was another time. I, I know my way around. Just be on your guard and I'll be watching out for you as well. Virgil, what is it? Where do you come from? No! I don't want to talk about it. I'm sorry, I, I didn't mean to... There's so much I have to learn. Joaquim says the free man is defined by what he does today. I look no more behind me. I'd like for you to learn not to interrupt me when I'm trying to read things. Especially ones that are sent by Elder Joaquim, okay? Yes. Let's, uh... Let's keep moving forward. Right. So... I'm off to investigate my theories regarding them. Please accept my humblest apologies and my inability to meet with you in Toronto. I understand all of this must be a bit disconcerting for both of you. If you have questions concerning the Panari religion, stop by any t temple and speak with a priest. I believe there is one in Toronto, the northern end of Lion's Head Circle. When you have the means, travel to the village of Stillwater. I will leave word with the innkeeper at the Bleeding Rose Inn as to where you can find me. It's like I'm fucking chasing Gandalf. At the end of the Prancing Pony and Bree! No, wait a second, I'm not! <laughs> Fuck you! Hello? Oh, expert haggler. Damn it. Yep. We need to find an apprentice. Sure. Hello. Are you greetings? Nigh to you, good gnome. Might I ask your name? J.M. Morant at your service. But of course, I am Grimace. What it brings you to this fine establishment? Allow me to recommend the others, unquestionably the best today. I just arrived. Might I ask you some questions? Ah, but of course. Ask whatever you will. Uh, you're really just too nice and afraid you need to die? What sights do you recommend I view? Oh, the sights to behold here in Tarant. You do get a chance, the locomotive is a must on any sightseeing tour. I have heard rumor of the beast, I will surely be awed by its power. To move away from technology, I might recommend the Great Library. I know the location where you find such a magnificent reservoir of knowledge, and it's truly incredulous. Truly incredulous? Sure. 
to immerse oneself in our history. I highly recommend it. I shall delight in a visit. Uh, that's something I shall enjoy. Of course. I must be going. Thank you. I do appreciate you being polite. Uh, uh. Um, the book, not the book, the game actually describes this situation. When you get to the Half Ogres, one of the backgrounds you have is like recently freed uh, by a gnome. Uh, basically, you were the bodyguard for a gnome and he had just released you uh, upon his death. Right, madam. Nope, nope, not playing that game. Nah, -uh. seek apprentice training. Ah, breaking my balls here. You have to like find like a uh, some sort of merchant, and ah, he's Joe, right? Honey. <laughs> Adam Lewis, alright. I'm pretty obsessed about this whole thing before I do any buying or selling. Pretty locked on to the whole idea, not gonna lie. Also, I have come to a bad place. I want to leave. Don't want to be around here. Right. We're gonna keep looking around, though. No. We'll find the thing I'm after. This'll be an exploration video, everyone. Uh, maybe someone in Madame Blues can teach me how to bargain, right? A wall? Barkeep? How about a drink, oh, my good fellow? Me, Nicholas. Me give you drink now, here. Uh, thanks, old boy. How do you do? They are all higher level than I am by a considerable margin. I'm kinda scared. Well... Um... I guess this is episode 11. Wow, episode 10 was devoted entirely to... Yeah, it was! How about that? Can you teach me how to haggle? Why, hello there. Welcome to Madame Lil's, the finest establishment in Toronto. Might you be Madame Lil? Well, yes, I am Madame Lil. A pl pleasure. Will you tell me about your place? Certainly. This is the... Also, hold on. Got a bit of... crud that fell onto my glasses. Uh, certainly, this is the finest broth on all of Toronto. Its appointments are refined, the atmosphere is relaxed, and I've gathered together the most exquisite women available all to see your pleasure. I'll be off then. Don't sound like someone who can teach me how to haggle. You can teach me many things. House of Seek. I think I'm in a bad area of town. Hmm. Welcome, Chandler. But may I help you to see today? Hmm. Perhaps you'd first like to tell me who you are. The woman before you is dark skinned with eyes of black. She's adorned in strange jewelry and scars. I am Madame Tou. Madame Toussaud? Seer of the spirit realm, a guide for those who wish to seek answers from the other side. Can I ask you a few questions? Here to seek answers to all your questions. She whispers, almost hissing, as I said, I'm a seer. People come to me with questions, I do what I can answer them. Sometimes, I have to seek answers in the lands of dead. I must be off. I'm sure that sounds cool, but I'm really not looking for answers. Dock worker? Hello? Hoi, oh, stranger, how do I board passage? Alright. Thank you for your help. What's going on over here? Ooh, shopkeeper. Shop? Yeah? Yeah? Huh? Yeah! Without question, you have been most kind. Now, there's a benefit uh, to the extra skill levels. Um, I think my values are lowered because I am overburdened. I think. Wow. 
Hmm. Am I drunk? I did have. I had a drink! I had a drink! The drink did that to me? Holy shit! The drink fucked me up! It's gotta be the drink, what right? What is it that you want to. Uh, carry this for me. Your weight is significant. Uh, the dwarven gauntlets. You can wear those if you'd like. There we go. Yeah! That was a fucking drink for sure! What sort of wares do you carry here? Nothing fancy. Stay. Alright. Uh, let's barter then. You might have some. You might be interested in some of the stuff I have. Magnus' bracelet? I might want to keep that. Silver ring there. I'll keep that ring. Coins. Ah, uh, yeah. Me identifying that cursed dagger has made it not worth a whole lot. It's true. Okay. What is it that you wanted? All right. How about you give me some of this junk now? Give me that. Give me that. Give me that. We're gonna get rid of the nice suits. And I really can't be holding on to all this fucking armor. I'm gonna have to get it identified. So many things, man. I'm gonna have to deal with the situation. Alright. Gotta stop hoarding! I'll keep that. Just for sentimentality's sake. Keep that as well. I don't know whether these coins will be of use. I'll keep that key. I'll keep the ring on me. That dagger I might as well sell. These stupid notes. Passport. Magnus's bracelet. I'm a fucking hoarder! Alright. And you know, he might not be the best vendor for me to sell things to. I see the markup prices for this guy. Which is pretty nice. But, you know, we're in the area he doesn't... You know, he's a junk dealer, he might not have the most money, he might not give you the best prices, but... Same time, he might be most impressed by the things I'd have to give him, so he might actually give me the best prices, right? Go ahead and sell the cursed item to him. Uh, we'll sell some of those uh, hand amulets. Sell that. And the small... I just... Traded that away. And that is pretty much better in every aspect. It is, it is. Except for the noise penalty thing. Yep. It sure is. That, uh... It's also small. So pretty much I, I traded away the armor that I could wear. That's fine. It's fine. Well, let's go ahead and sell you this magic mace. I don't really have an interest in using it. Whenever I tried to have Virgil use it, he didn't do anything with it. Go ahead and give me that. Uh, sell the emerald. Welcome to, uh... You know... This fun and adventure that's known as inventory management. It's pretty fun! Yeah, perhaps I should have kept the, uh, the full leather armor. Of course, he's willing to what charge me an arm and leg to get it back. Take it back. Give me the dagger that dagger. See if I can sell some of that rubbish. These grenades aren't really something that you can use because I don't think you do any throwing. And... I guess I'll sell these parts as well. I don't think they're going to do them any good. I'm at light encumbrance. You know, since... <sighs> What is it that you want? Yeah, we'll keep that. Okay, everyone, that was fun vending. Vending pro strats. Super vending excitement. I don't actually plan on taking a ship, but I did get what I wanted out of this. And that's what matters.
Found someone who could uh, teach me some haggle things. Man, did that take a while or what? Didn't figure that you would have uh, much interest in uh, really any of the items that I have. I don't need the arrows either. I think I was holding on to them in case that I get a bow. That's not happening. Probably not. That's like schematics for a goggled helmet. We got some fuel. Some eyeglasses, of course. Those have been mentioned before. Battery and a compass. Noted professor dies tragically. Hmm. My little animation glitched out there. Do you folks see that? Alright. I'd have to find, uh, one of those lovely identify people to help me out before I'd be willing to sell all of the, uh, the magic items that I have that are unidentified. Is there a weapon here that could assist... There probably is. The value here is also pretty good, too. Hmm. 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 Studded leather. That's pretty nice. I do have a lot of money. Should work on spending that, right? And critical failure is not that much of an issue for me since, uh, you know. Definitely trivial amount. Of course, you value your current equipment too much to sell any of it. So I'll have to think about what I might be interested in buying or selling. Mm, hold on. What is it that you want? Give me this. Shall we barter? Uh. No, you're not actually interested in any of that crap. Okay. Mm-hmm. Of course, the percentage there is not so high either. I'm assuming I'm reading that correctly. If not, well, I suppose that would be a little awkward. Are you interested in the arrows? No. Probably not going to be able to find anyone who's fucking interested in those damn arrows. What is it that you... All right. Take that back. I have stopped caring about vending. Let's... Go back to uh, just constantly wandering around aimlessly. Looking for quests, I guess. Looking for trouble. Editorial office. Hello. Hey, sir, when I'm up, greeting, sir, might I ask your name? Mr. Wright, editor of the Tarantian finest new paper on the land. My name is Grimith. What goes on in the city? What I'm concerned with deals only with local business. You have a job I could do? Well, this is the Tarantian. News is our business. The first thing that pops to mind when you mention work is news. Do you have any newsworthy stories? We pay quite well. Ah. That sounds really dumb to advertise. Small job. Uh, yes, I am. A payment. Mrs. Halster. Her house is located at the corner of Devonshire and Vermilion. Return to me after delivery. I'll... I'm a delivery boy now! Dur -dur -dur. Deliver a payment note to Mrs. Houster. I think I know where Houster lives. Maybe? Houster. Aha! And that's a. Yep. Cool. Oh, it's 75 coins. You know. Yeah. Totally very heroic. Nope. Can't argue with me about it. Nope. Mrs. Halster? Mr. Wright sent me. Yes, here you are. Cool. Thank you, man. Goodbye. Oh, the excitement. The incredible... Hypest... Without a doubt... Mind-boggling, show-stopping excitement. I delivered the note. Thank you. Is there any more work? I must be off. It was pretty fucking easy, and I got 75 coins for it. 
If only it was so easy to make money in real life, right? Maybe it is. Hello. I love how I'm just being like a nosy son of a bitch, just walking around and everything. Poking my head in like any good adventure. Nice to make your acquaintance. Yes. Doing, doing all right. Yep. What's going on in here? Nothing. Might ask you a question. You're not even of interest. Yeah, I'm sure. The Zoological Society. Oh my! Look at that. Ancient iron chest. It's cool. Uh, looking for Dr. Tristan Finwick. Yeah. I'm off this door, right? Just take a look around your shirt. On. Thank you. I'll do that. I don't remember the exact reason. I think it has to do with one of the newspapers. Hello. Who are you? Oh, uh, if you must know, I'm the head of this here, uh, Zoological Society. Dr. Tristan Fenwick, that's me at your service and all that nonsense. What does the Zoological Society do? Well, according to the catalog, we deal with animals and animal life, including the study of the structure, physiology, development, and classification of animals. Some would say we just waste the taxpayers' coins. May I ask you some questions? Ask away, I'll be going now. Maybe not. Well, that was fun. I actually had no questions for him, so there you go. All of records. That's where uh, Magnus said he learned about uh, Shyler and Sons. Let's do some questions. Take my leave. What's going on in here? What can I do for you? Where am I? This is the City Hall and Secretary of the Department of Water and Power. Good day, sir. We regulate the flow of water in and out of the city, track the power consumption of the various areas of Toronto, maintain the sewers and the engines around town. Thank you for your time. Incredibly useful time. Well spent. It's not all records. Let's go be nosy, everyone. What is it that you want to- Nope. Let me ask you some questions. Can you train me to be a Brenda's in those things? I'm done. Oh, I got some rock rats in there. Oh my. Oh my. Goodness. Hello, what manner of place is this, pray tell? This great place is known as the Hall of Records. All manner of knowledge is kept upon these premises. It is here that all of our census records are kept, as well as our tomb... Yes. Tome upon tome of archives. Census? I know what a census is. What type of information do the archives contain? The archives contain profuse amounts of information. Most of it exists in the form of deeds and ugly legal papers, but are also newspapers. Newspapers? Yes, it is a most exciting endeavor we undertook. We have been archiving every newspaper for the last 120 years. They have turned out to be an exceptional resource for research on many subjects as the newspapers contain such a myriad of information. Everything from attention-grabbing headlines to obituaries in the past 120 years are stored in our archives. Not only must the requirements be immense, but the fact that the newspapers themselves haven't degraded over all those years? I blame magic. Not as much as one might think before the automated printing press came into being 30 years ago and newspapers only created every month or two. What is a census? I think so. Are you able to help me locate an individual? Uh, more, more. Gilbert Bates. So everyone knows who he. I don't. Okay, sure. I wanted to see if, like, maybe there was, like, a quest to kill rock rats or something. It's not. We also are not allowed, apparently, to go picking through all manner of things. I'm sure those rats are there for a perfectly good reason, which doesn't involve me. So away we go. Well, this has been an incredibly productive video, everyone. Huh. Well, we found the Bates estate. Promise?